Dear Disneyland. When I was eight years old, my dad took me to Disneyland. I was very excited to ride Space Mountain, but when I rode it, I realized the ride was in the dark and it was very fast. I was not expecting the darkness or the speed and it scared me. It wasn't until 11 years later my friend took me to Disneyland for Nazarene night that you don't have anymore and my friend Jerry had paid me $20 to ride it again. The ride is still dark, it is still fast, and it is still scary. The reason behind my letter is I want you to change it. <clears throat> I want you to make it not dark, not fast, and not so scary for young writers. I do not think that a ride of this caliber even belongs in an amusement park that is for families. If you ever want to see any more money from me, you will make these changes immediately. Sincerely, the land of land and land. Send. Okay, first off, that story that I just told is a true story. I really did ride Space Mountain and it did scare me, along with the Matterhorn when I was eight years old. And it really did take, actually I think it was more like, like 10 years before I was paid to ride the ride again on Nazarene night by Jerry. Thank you, Jerry, for, uh, or Jeremy. No, it was... Anyway, so he'll probably never see the video, so if I get it wrong, it's okay. And as far as you know, it's Jerry. Here's the problem that I have right now. Yesterday, I see on the news that people are once again at it to change rides at Disneyland. First, it started with the crybabies at Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, on the ride, if you're not aware, there was there was a, a part in there where they auditioned wenches or women, uh, the, the pirates did, to the other pirates. They would sell them off. That's reality. That's what they did, okay? So... Uh, some sensitive people had come out and said, that's offensive, it teaches children it's okay to sell women. Which is exactly what I thought when I was eight years old and rode that ride for the first time. In fact, after I got off the ride, I immediately grabbed a woman by the arm and said, who will give me five bucks for this wench? Actually, it never happened, but I wonder if I really could have got five bucks if I tried. Nobody thinks like that, especially a kid. It's not real. It's a ride. And 99.99999, of every single kid that watches that ride and that scene does not walk out of that thinking they're going to go and sell a woman. That's ridiculous. So then they go and change the scene. And now they've got Red. That's her name. Uh, the the wench that they were going to sell. Uh, she's now a pirate and she's selling goods. 
That's great. Way to go, Disney. Way to be sensitive to other people's feelings. So, to go along with other people's sensitivity, um, now we're working on Splash Mountain, which goes along with Song of the South, which people say is outdated. Uh, a lot of people that ride that ride don't even know the backstory. To be honest, 99.999999% of the writers of Splash Mountain don't even care. They don't care if it has anything to do with a movie that was based off of racism and little tar babies in the South. That's kind of how it was back then. But, Br'er Fox, Br'er Rabbit, and Br'er Bear? What's his name? We can't have that. That promotes racism. So, now they're tearing down Splash Mountain and rebranding it Princess and the Frog. Sure, why not? It's more current. The ride's still going to be the same. Who cares? Nobody walked off that ride ever thinking of slavery. Just saying. The next one to go, they're trying to get rid of the Hall of Presidents. Well, because one person, I'll give you a hint, it rhymes with Trump. Okay, it is Trump. They're getting rid of Hall of Presidents because of Trump, and sensitive people can't handle that. He's your president. We have Obama in there. No sensitive other people went and said, hey, can we tear this out because I don't like him? He's your president. He has been. Get over it. The next thing that I read the news yesterday is Pinocchio's Daring Journey, to which people are honestly writing in saying the ride is too dark. It has clowns. Clowns are scary. Can you get rid of the clowns? Also, other people are bent out of shape because it promotes slavery. To be honest, not once when I rode that ride as a kid or as an adult did I walk off that ride thinking, maybe I should buy a kid. No, I never did. I never even thought about it. Maybe because my brain doesn't go that deep. I don't know how many people's brains do. How many people ride that ride and think, I really need to buy a kid. Preferably one that looks like a donkey. I don't think anybody ever did. Also, they're trying to get rid of scenes in Dumbo because the black crows that are in there are black. And that's racist. People are suggesting that they put in Beauty and the Beast in place of Pinocchio because Pinocchio is old after all. So sure, let's put in Beauty and the Beast. How did the Beast get there? The Beast was a bad boy, a witch came along and turned him into a bad beast. Witchcraft. Yeah, let's teach our kids witchcraft. It's bad enough that uh, Harry Potter caught hell fury by women for teaching witchcraft. Why not go and have a ride based off of it too? Another thing for some sensitive panty waist to get bent out of shape over. Then somebody said, maybe Aladdin. Guess what the genie is? The genie's a slave. It's true. Unless you refer to after he was released, but if you were to go back in history, that little blue man was a slave. We can't have a show about that. We can't even have a ride about that because it's slavery and somebody might get offended. So my point is, where do we draw the line on reality and fantasy? Thing is, Disney, whether you consider him to be a racist or actually if he was a racist or not... Um, Let's just throw that out the window. When you watch those movies as a kid or as an adult, did you ever go and dig so deep into the movie that you walked out with a triggered finger immediately ready to go and write the producer of the movie or the cartoon and say, that was offensive? Unless you're a monster, the answer is probably no, you didn't. Why? Because you were entertained. You watch these things for entertainment. You watch it as a kid for entertainment. You watch it as a parent because your kids are entertained. Or if you're like me, you watch it because it's still entertaining. The fact is, it's fake. It's a cartoon. Or it's a movie with people that are based on non-actual people or events. Reality is, if you have a ride 
that is based off the movie that you watched as a kid and you didn't think anything of it and now you're an adult and you ride that ride and you look at that and you go, hmm, I never thought that as a kid, but I think it now, so therefore we need to change it because I don't want a kid who won't ever think it. We need to change it so that kid will not turn into a racist or a slave owner or anything else or auction off women. It's preposterous. It is absolutely preposterous that we go and change everything for everyone because granted, as Walt Disney said, Disneyland will never be finished. Probably because people will never be finished with their whining and crying over things that are going on in the world. Get over it, people. Leave Disneyland alone. If you don't like the ride, if you don't want your kid growing up to be a racist, homophobic, slave-owning bigot, don't let them ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't let them ride Splash Mountain. Don't let them go to the Hall of Presidents. Definitely don't let them ride Pinocchio. And uh, Dumbo, yeah, nix that one. Where do you draw the line? You don't. You leave things how they are. Why? That's called history. It allows us to go and think back to when I was a kid and I watched this movie. That was great. I enjoyed it. But if we go and constantly change things because one little snowflake is getting melted and we change it and then another snowflake comes along, are we just, what's the point of even having the park? We're just going to keep changing things consistently until they just go and say, you know what? No, we're done. And I think, to be honest, in my opinion, Disney should have done that a long time ago. Disney needs to draw the line. They need to stop. Please. I know Disney will never see this, but... Oh. It's just my rant. That's all. So, if you've made it this far, out of, out of fun, tell me what ride you think we need to change next and why. Because I'm curious... I know I've given every single reason. Oh, oh, and one more thing. They want to change the, the, the Haunted Mansion because it promotes suicide in the one hall where, or the one um, chamber where you look up and, and the guy's hanging there. They're trying to get rid of that because it promotes suicide. Another ride that they're trying to get rid of. I never thought of suicide as a kid. Never even did as an adult when I looked up and saw the guy hanging there. Yeah, we just can't have nice things. My rant's over. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.